Hello everyone. Our today's topic for discussion is cloud mashup. The mashup is different for different applications. If we talk about music, then mashup is just a remix of songs. If we talk about other other things, it is different. For cloud, it is just combining the different applications with each other to get something new. So mashup is a technique in which a website can give you different functionality by combining more than one different resources or sources of information. So that is a mashup. Generally, it is with the help of public APIs which are made, being made available through different sources and we use it to provide a mashup service. There are a number of other uh, mashup types. We will discuss about them as well. What is the benefit of using a mashup? It is very easy for the programmers to code it. So you need not to put much effort in coding it. So you will be able to uh, get the information without performing any very, uh, you can say, much amount of coding. Then the second benefit of uh, using the cloud is it can be created within hours or days so you need not to uh, write all the code you can directly use the public apis from other providers and then integrate them into your application and show it to the user so they are agile in view they are very fast they are very quick they can get the data very fast the user experience is better as compared to our native applications we in which we provide try to provide each and every service at a single place in mashup you get the different resources and from those resources you combine the information so the quality of information is better user experience is better okay so now let us talk about some of the types of cloud mashups so first one is consumer or presentation mashup in the case of consumer or presentation mashup what we have is the information which we are using will be remixed means uh, you will be having one information lying at one place your service will pick it from that place will get the information from the other place and we combine it to show you but there is nothing new in it because both the informations are already available at different resources we just combined them but the information remains same there is nothing new in it okay it is just combining the two different resources at a single place to show you the data so this is a kind of a consumer or presentation measure then the next type is data mashup so data mashup is having two different types first one is client side mashup the second one is server side mashup so in client side data mashup the information which we have from different sources is combined to give you something new it is not the existing information whatsoever information you are going to get will be new but the information sources which you have collected they will be individually having certain set of information in them so we will talk about certain examples related to it then the next type is server side data mashup in the case of server side data mashup what happens we combine the databases to share the information with each other means there might be some data which is stored in one server there might be some data which is stored in the other server they try to join the tables and give you the information to fetch that is a kind of server side data mashup but still there are number of problems related to server side data mashup so what are those problems interoperability is the biggest issue there might be one server which is from microsoft there might be some server which is from some other provider so it will be very difficult to get the data combined from different vendors 
so interoperability is the biggest problem in server side data meshes so in this case we are mixing up the datas so data means your tables or your values which are stored on one place you fetch that data you are not fetching a independent application you are just fetching the data to combine it there on the other side we are having the another type which is business mashup in this business mashup instead of getting the data from other place we get the existing software from that place we don't now try to fetch the data instead of that we fetch the software directly so in in client side software mashup the mashup code is integrated into the browser so in browser we are having certain places where we can combine the uh, code and that browser will give you the capability to include new fun new functionality into it means you can embed a certain set of code in that browser and you will be able to provide a new functionality of that the software then the most widely used method which we are using currently that is server side software mashup now in this case what we are doing if we are using certain services all those services you will be able to get that information from a single place but on the back end that server might be using certain set of apis to provide you with that functionality Okay. so this is made available with the help of apis so we will discuss about those apis as well what are the different type of apis what are the services from where you can get those apis so it is available at number of places but uh, the information which is available that is only related to public apis it is not related to private apis okay so we will now jump to the examples now the first one example which we are having that is housing maps so housing maps is something which was developed earlier now what it does is it combines the different information related to different places and then show it you to you on a map now like this this is one of the house which if you want to uh, say purchase or if you want to higher rent it so where you will be able to find it so it can show you the same thing on map that this is the exact location where you will get this particular house so this is how it creates a mashup this on this side it is using gmail uh, sorry your google map to show you the exact location on this side it is using a image so what it does is it is having the location of this particular image with uh, them and then they are mapping it to the image of map this is the map location long lat according to that it shows you the data so this is how it works in this case this was your first uh, type which was related to your housing or house maps okay how it does is it now if you have seen it integrates it with craiglist so craiglist if you are aware it is a kind of a, a search tool like we have uh, our renting uh, websites okay? so it is similar to that so we can see where this location is by using that crack list now this is this is the house where it is actually located it will show me the location so this is how your first example works that is housing for housing okay second is uh, we also discussed it earlier in your class as well now this is related to trends now currently if i search for india what is trending on twitter in india in which region what is trending so we can see that like uh, if we talk about patiala so this is what trending at that place world health day thursday thoughts thursday motivation spiritual unlock your inner power okay so if we move towards chandigarh 
real Donald Trump, forgotten Manish Tiwari. So these kind of things are trending. Okay, so this is how you can come to know that in which region of the world what hashtags are trending. So this will also help you to uh, give uh, put your posts on Twitter to get maximum uh, number of people to view it. Because if a certain hashtag is trending and if you post it with the same hashtag, you are going to get more responses or more views for your posts. So this is how you can use this information as well in your uh, posting or if you are in a social media kind of uh, marketing, then you can use it in this way. Then the next application which we are having that is song DNA. Now, what is this song DNA? This is a, actually a Android app. You can download it on your phone. And if you search for a particular song, it will show you with additional information about that song. Now, what is in that additional information about that song? It will also tell you from <clears throat> what was the highest rank of that particular song in the charts how many tweets were there okay so it it can combine seven different resources to give you the information about that particular song it is kind of a dna of a song this is the another uh, example of your mashup next is app programmable web so we talked about the business side or server side cloud uh, software mashup so this is one of the example for that now see these this programmable web.com it has number of apis with it which helps you to combine number of services with your own application so see if you want to check any of the working so see Sport map let you uh, it lets you find the premier soccer news by team location via Google Maps and BCC backstage data. So this is this is how it is uh, integrating the services. It is integrating Google Maps and B BBC backstage data. So this is how it is combining it. Then UFO maps it is combining the Google Map and the data from you can check from where they are combining the data they will be writing it so amazon box it displays the amazon wish list and list mania list from marketplace sellers on your website so this is google map with the data from national ufo reporting center so it is combining that information if you check you will be able to use that related apis okay with your own requirements whatsoever you uh, need you will be able to add that measure okay according to your requirements so there are number of such online apis available so you can use it as per your requirement so we have just uh, seen the example of housing maps so it is just a proto prototypical mashup of google maps plus craigslist so we have seen this already. So there is Flickr, Flitter, number of them. So we are having around 258 pages for this. And you can get and filter them according to your requirements. Whatsoever type of requirement you have, but so type of uh, require uh, application requirement is there. According to that, you can combine them. Like for banking. There will be number of search mashups which will include banking if you are uh, going to develop any application related to share market then you can use this api to get those services okay so uh, this is one another desert safari dubai so you can combine number of search applications okay this is one another let us talk about another type uh, this is weather cast actually it tells you about the weather now see in this type weather is an individual entity weather will be related to a particular location 
map is a different entity so map will be separate location is uh, weather is separate both the informations are important but if i combine them at a single place i will be able to see a new information which is showing me visually that where is my location and what is the temperature at that place so this will be just combining the number of services to provide you with a better data okay. so this is another type now the uh, last example which is very widely used right now with which we are using most of us are using these days to check what is the uh, weather uh, air quality index right now so we use this service this is also a measure now what what is combined in this measure so you can see we are having our ratings so this is the air quality index and this is the location so it is combining the map of google from google it will be using this map and on the other end they are having their own api to fetch the information from the air quality index so they are just combining these different applications and providing you with a new information in which you will be able to visually see what is your air quality index okay and they are also implementing this uh, information view at this place so this is how it actually works and how it is possible to use these type of mashups to provide you with a better information and better uh, user experience because if if i am not able to see uh, if i am only able to see it according to uh, the location it will be not that much effective so if i want to make it more effective then i can use the map service so this is how it is telling me the information now if if just imagine that if i am able to see the whole world like this if there are one or uh, you can say what's so many number of countries are there if they start showing me the list of those uh, places or the longitude latitude of that place it will be very difficult for me to check the whole list but right now if i am having the visibility of whole world so whatsoever place i want to explore i can get that information just by zooming in into the map this is how a cloud mashup works then in this mashups you can also include your services like ola and uber because they are also doing the same work they have map and they have their location of their uh, delivery boys according to that they map it on uh, google maps and show it to you so that is one another example oyo can be there ola is there and then zomato is there swiggy is there so these all applications which we are using they use one or another sort of a mashup and most widely used mashup is your server side software mashup because in this case we are not getting the code from any other place or any other uh, company we are directly getting their existing software because map is a separate software so it is running on its own we are just getting that software integrating our work on it and showing it to the user so this is the topic for today's discussion so tomorrow we will be uh, here with the next topic that is green cloud computing thank you so much